Um, Mr. Mukul Anand, there has been an established tradition now of South Indian actresses coming into Hindi films and making it big here. Why do you think they make it so big? What is it in them? Within the face, within the face of the girl from the South, we find uh, that embodiment of uh, uh, expressions or um, features, which is uh, what suits the typical Indian woman. I mean, large eyes, uh, they learn uh, most acting through a basic uh, training of dance, uh, Bharat Natyam for that. So the expressions are very clear and voluble. Unlike uh, most students from uh, Bombay or North who learn from acting schools, uh, most of the girls from South come from a vast experience, first of all, of acting itself, because they establish actresses down South. And then they come very well, uh, they, the expression of dance uh, suits them, you see, to act out. You'll find it from the times we've had uh, Vajinti Mala, Padmini, or Emma Malani, and down to Sri Devi now. I think it's the humility. Uh, most people from South uh, uh, lack arrogance. Their discipline is remarkably different from the girls or the people within the Bombay film industry. And uh, they have a certain sense of dedication to the world. And uh, that's what lets them go uh, much further. And they are de uh, disciplined regarding self. You'll ra rarely find a girl from there uh, into discotheques or into a sort of lifestyle which would make people frown, uh, you see, or uh, would probably ruin a face in the long run. I'm not saying that the in Hindi film actors is not like that, but down there it's a certain discipline which is a must. You worked with Sri Devi in Khuda Gawa. What did you think was her, you know, her major essay? I started working with Sri Devi as the first director from the Hindi film industry, Sultanat. And uh, my last film, Kudagawa, was also with her. Uh, Sri Devi has grown tremendously. Her uh, acting prowess has uh, improved uh, and uh, leaps and bounds over her physical assets, which, which is what she came in with. Uh, Sri Devi uh, expresses so well, and she became an actress who set trends within acting, within all the youngsters today. The set of expressions she gave in the films uh, in the five years back were a sort of trend-setting expressions from a girl who executed good uh, physical, uh, I mean, uh, attributes and also great physical uh, facial expressions. She was very good at uh, using a voice and uh, what, using a body movements to synchronize with a lot of expressions. She set the trend. Now, for your new joint venture too, you've taken her when she is going through a low phase. Because that is what uh, filmmakers are known for. I mean, if you are a regular filmmaker and you just follow the total line of taking any, only the people who are successful, you might end up uh, at that juncture with them when they are not successful. We decided to pick up Sri Devi uh, on a particular subject, and the director felt that in this particular state of uh, she is in, her career is in at the moment. That sort of subject would probably uh, bring her back with uh, full honors. The film is fully based on Sri Devi and her army. You think she'll able to carry it? Well, uh, those are the sort of risks one takes and the confidence one has when you make a film. I'm pretty sure she would carry it and uh, the subject suits her to the hilt. And uh, it's a role which probably a Dilip Kumar would handle uh, in his male category. And she has that sort of uh, um, capacity to do dance and action and deliver dialogues with maturity, which that role requires. Now, one aspect of whole, this whole thing is the diction problem. You know, we see that South Indian actresses like Hema Malini, even after all these years of Hindi, you know, you can make out that. That's because uh, Hema ji did not strive as well as Sri Devi to learn the language. Uh, she, uh, she didn't need to go that far. Sri Devi took it that far that she's virtually learned the language, which is what every girl can do. It's not difficult to learn the language. It's a state of mind, which Sri Devi mastered. And after four or five years being in the Hindi film done, she started dubbing her own dialogues. I've been of the phase which I have watched Sri Devi uh, getting her dialogues dubbed by um, a yesteryear actress called Naz, 
and then Sri Devi, after Lame, uh, really speaking her own lines. Changni was one of her first films with her own dialogue, and it did very well. Another aspect that uh, we've thought of is, you know, the looks. They're, they're different and they are slightly dark toned skin. Do you think that makes a difference, any difference at all? Not really. I don't think the girls from the side are any fairer. It's just that the features, like I told you, are very Indian. And uh, to the extent the Hindi film demands a uh, sort of certain face, which is very Indian, they suit it better. Uh, they really uh, also have the advantage of being more trained than the girl who's trying to get a break here. They would have done 30, 40 films. In the case of Sri Devi, at least 68 films have been done before she entered the Hindi film. So they're really professionals by the time we get them, even at that young age. Okay. Now, in glaring contrast to these other South Indian superstars, the male actors, who come down, give one big hit, and then kind of fizzle out. Why does this happen? You See, you have to contend with the fact that they do very well down south. They're already uh, demigods by the time they're trying to get the break here. Now, there is a certain difference there. They already reached the position there, and they're uh, virtually starting something new here. Initially, we accept them in open uh, uh, hearts and minds, but they do not work hard to survive that flop period. Every actor goes to the ups and downs, but the South Indian actor has not really, the South Indian actor has not really struggled hard to win over the bad phase. Otherwise, I'm sure Kamala Hassan could have done well if he stayed here, like Sri Devi shifted here, or Jay Prada shifted here. If they had shifted here to set up their career, and virtually taken this as the mainline job, it would have made the difference. Apart from the physical presence here, what one thinks of is that many of them are great actors. Rajnikanth or Mamuti. Or, doesn't this count here? I mean, uh, I told you that you can't compare the two positions. There, I told you, they're virtually demigods by the time they're interested in Hindi films. Here, the difference is that the sort of treatment meted out to them is totally different. Here, it's a different metric gauge. You're wanted, and suddenly you're not wanted. They're not used to that sort of discipline. I think if the Tamil actor, Tamil actor, or the Telugu actor wants to succeed here, he'll have to settle in Bombay. He won't be able to do it from there, I'm pretty sure. Because the state of mind will tell him, you're already big, you don't need this. Uh, Mukul, in your forthcoming release, Trimurti, I believe you've gone in for a lot of special effects and stuff like that. Uh, do you think this will make a difference to the film's success? Or well, the say? film demands a, a certain area. Uh, the film demands a certain area of special effects. Two and a half years back, when the script was written by Mr. Kyle, he felt that Indian film uh, had now reached a stage that the budget could be... Uh, given to it to bring in the Hollywood quality on special effects. Otherwise, I would have not ventured to it. Plus, I have been doing commercials over three years now. I am uh, well trained uh, within Hollywood and India now to do any sort of special effect regarding stunt or dance. In that case, um, Trimurti has a 2.5 crore budget for 10 minutes. That is 25 lakh a minute within not all areas of special effect, but the seconds of special effect would be not more than 30 for your information. But to encompass it in 10 minutes would be 25 lakhs a minute. Because you have to set an action to that stature that it can take special effects. So we have been shooting that action and we've been shooting that special effect. And the country's first major attempt at special effect would be uh, on view from October 20th. Uh, do you think this will be a trendsetter? <coughs> I mean. There's a lot of demand for it. I think it's important to understand that the director who is existing at the moment is not trained himself into special effects. Until then, he cannot imagine the special effects. They can watch it from a Hollywood movie, but they do not know how to budget it. The importance of special effect is to understand how to budget it. So if somebody is looking at shots, which is virtually within 25,000 rupees a second, I think we are close to the budget of special effects. I say 25,000 second because the Hollywood people are offering it to us at 1 lakh 10,000 rupees a second of anything on film on special effects. So in your opinion, will it? I mean, do you see more people going if in for Trimurti it? If Trimurti succeeds, I guess every film will be uh, virtually hurtled into special effects because there's a lot of adventure in action more than just punching. 
There's a lot of adventure area in the sort of action we have and the music we have. The sort which has not been seen before. But the sort which can probably be uh, attributed to the success of the film. Thanks a lot, Mr. Mukula. Thank you very much.